Hi, my name is Liz Smith and I have depression. I live in Leeds in the north of England with my partner of five years and my dog Bertie. I'm a freelance writer and editor and I also work part-time fundraising for a local conservation charity. Juggling my new business, which I just set up this year with my part-time work and managing my mental health can be pretty hard. I've had depression and anxiety for most of my adult life and maybe even before that. There's no denying it's tough because you never know when it's going to strike you again. I've had treatment with various medications and therapies over the years, had varying different degrees of success, but I think the thing that has helped me the most has been accepting myself, and that includes accepting the illness. It means accepting that there will be good days and bad days and even worse days. There will be days when the world seems pretty dark and hostile and there's no point even getting out of bed. Every interaction on those days, even with people outside my trusted social circle, can be pretty hard. Depression and mental illness in general can make people incredibly judgmental. I've heard people say things like, oh, snap out of it, or get over yourself. And believe me, if it was that easy, we'd all be doing it. People might assume you're lazy or work shy, particularly if your depression causes you to have time off work. But here's the thing, and a lot of people don't realise, but... A lot of people with depression are actually the serious overachieving type A personality, and that includes me. I'm very aspirational, I like to achieve things, and I can be a perfectionist, and I do get very frustrated when my mental health prevents me from achieving the standards that I set for myself. Part of my recovery and, and self-management journey has been around looking at that and just starting to ease up on myself a bit. We're still not as comfortable as we could be talking about mental health. I didn't want to start my career as a writer by trying to hide it or by pretending I'm something I'm not, so I decided pretty early on when I started my business that I was going to be open about it. One of the reasons I wanted to blog for Healthy Place because I believe that the more we talk about mental illness and normalise it, the less of an issue it's going to be. I'm passionate about reducing stigma and making it easier for people who have mental illnesses to open up to others about them. I hope you'll enjoy my coping with depression blogs and videos and that I'll be able to share some of my experience and insights, hopefully help others on their journey and obviously I will be learning new things from all you lovely people out there too.